So I received this anonymous package today from someone in New Jersey and they left a return address but no name so there is nobody to thank and the only instructions are for me to enjoy. Inside of the package was this piece of multicolored plywood and I really thought it was just a nice gesture. It came without rhyme or reason. So let's have a little fun with it. We'll alter it and send it back to where it came from. This piece is 12 ply and it's not quite three quarters but I think what I can do is cut the two center ply away and then it will leave me with on each side a five ply piece. Now if I cut the material again, it will become square. Now if we pretend that this stock that I've just cut is one unit by one unit thick, I want to cut two pieces that are three units long, four pieces that are five units long, and two pieces that are seven units long, like this. Alright, I'm almost done cutting parts. These are the pieces that I'll need. These are the ones that are left over. And this is the other half. But before I can finish, I have to cut 12 of these little guys. I'm going to use these little cubes to build some columns. Two of the columns will have three cubes, and one will consist of five. That leaves me with one cube left over. As for this mechanism, I'll show you what it does. This is just thrown together using some scrap metal, and there's a disc magnet here and there so that it can be adjusted to apply a very, very controlled amount of pressure for parts that are way too small to clamp. And back to the pieces that I cut before, I want to pair each of the fives with a three, but I want there to be a left and a right piece. And I'm going to do the same thing with the fives and the sevens. How I'm going to fasten them together is with a lap joint.
it is now time for the final assembly. I'd like to attach these two parts that have the sevens on them, and I want to attach them like this. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the other two remaining parts as kind of a cradle to help ensure that they're square and spaced correctly. Wood glue will form an initial tack after just a few seconds. This bond isn't very strong, but it happens quickly. It's important to consider this technique when you're working on a project like this. You can get it close at first, and then still make minor corrections along the way. Well, I certainly hope that you enjoyed watching this. It turned out rather nicely. I especially like that it looks blue, and then when you flip it upside down, it looks purple. Of course, you don't have to use any fancy plywood like that. You could use just regular plywood like I did here for this prototype. And if you've never seen this shape before, I made a video about making one of these out of a solid piece of wood, and I'll include the appropriate link. Well, it's time to send this on its way to its new owner, so see you next time.